Hi there, welcome back to the video series in Unreal Engine 5, the first person game setup. Previous videos we set up the abilities to move the character with WASD, uh, to move the camera around with the mouse, and hit spacebar to jump. So we're going to add to that with some secondary actions over these next several videos. This first one we're going to add crouch. As in with previous videos, we need to create a new input action. So I have my inputs folder. I'm going to right click, choose input, and input action. We're going to tell this one IA crouch. The value type is going to be a boolean uh, with the digital bool. So I'm going to go into my input mapping context and where my mappings are, I'm hit the plus symbol and type in IA crouch. And then I'm going to add a keyboard shortcut, which is going to be the left control key. So if I hit the keyboard icon and hit the left control key that adds the left control to this mapping. So I'm going to hit the save button and we're going to close this out and then in the character blueprint uh, underneath my movement to camera and begin play I'm going to add right click and add IA crouch IA crouch in the event. I'm going to open this up and we're going to be using started and completed depending on which one method you want to use. So there's two options here, there's a lot of other options, but the two main ones are if I hold down control, I'm only crouching while I'm holding control. Some games do that. Other than that, the other option is if I tap control, I go into crouch mode. If I tap control again, I go out of crouch mode. So it depends on which one you want to do. The crouch settings are underneath the character movement, and if, if I select the character movement and go over here and type the word crouch, you need a checkbox can crouch. This isn't checkbox as default, and I'm going to reset the default settings up here. So checkbox can crouch, and then you can change the crouch half height. That's how high the character is when we are in crouch mode. I'll put that much lower, maybe maybe 15, something like that. Um, you can always revert that by clicking the arrow. So if I type in 15, I'm going to lower that, and then I can determine how fast the character can walk when crouched. So I'm going to lower that as well, maybe 150 or 1, 1 1.5 meters per second or um, 150 centimeters per second. So I'm going to compile and save and then we're going to drag out from started for our crouch. I'm going to simply search for the word crouch. So there's a function called crouch. So from started I can crouch and from completed I can add uncrouch. So this method is if I hold down crouch I'm in crouch mode. If I let go of if I hold down control, I'm in crouch mode. If I let go of control, I am no longer in crouching. So we can compile and save and get back out and play this. So I can walk around. If I hold control down, I'm in crouch and I'm much slower. If I let go of crouch, I'm back up and I'm walking back at regular walk speed. So hold down crouch or let go of crouch. So that's one method. The other option is to not use completed. So if I hold down or hold down Alt, I can deselect on these wires and that unconnects the wires from started and completed. So this method is going to be like a toggle. If I tap control, I'm in crouch mode. If I tap control again, I'm out of crouch mode. So it's just a choice whichever one works best for your game. If I drag from started and the command or the node is called flip flop. And this is a toggle command, which means if I tap started the first time, my control key, uh, A will work. So let's drag A to crouch, and if I tap control again, then B will be executed, which is uncrouched. So this is a toggle back and forth. So if I control or compile and save, and now go play, I can walk and tap control, I'm not holding control, and I'm in crouch mode, I can tap control again, and I go out of crouch mode. So it's just a choice whichever one works best for your game. So either method, without flip-flop, you're going to use started to crouch and completed to uncrouch. That's a hold down control to go into crouch mode. And then the flip-flop method, both coming from started and then go to crouch and uncrouch, is tapping control and moving into a toggleable crouch mode. It's just a choice. If I drag select to wrap this up and hit C to create a comment, I can title this one Crouch. Over here in the details panel, I can add a color to this and organize this with the rest of my layout here. 
So to wrap up this video on how to add Crouch to a first-person game in UE5.